morning. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm sore. Haha. <laughs> So um, I went to uh, 7 a.m. class and I took a test and I got 90, yay, I got an A. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm sore. Okay, this is the second time, I'm sore. But um, I'm gonna go alone and 100 push-ups. You know, um, as you guys know, I'm Japanese and English is not my first language. School is getting really, really, really tough. And it, even probably it's gonna be really tough for me, even if it's not in English. Yeah, well, this semester is the hardest, toughest for me. Um, but um, only a couple of more weeks to go, and then next semester is gonna be much, much easier. And next month, my husband is coming home, finally, thank God. <laughs> and so, um, I have to be strong for another couple of weeks. And then things things will be better. Oh, by the way, um, so it's been like two weeks since we started a hundred push-up challenge, and I think I think I'm already seeing some significant improvement. What do you think? I mean, before before starting it, I wasn't even able to do one push-up on my feet so I did all my push-ups on so like you know modified position after doing it two weeks I can do like you know push-ups on my feet like 20 30 40 and I don't know you know I see the I see the progress and I'm gonna keep doing it and see how it goes but I'm proud of myself <laughs> let's go said it's going to be a thunderstorm this afternoon okay so I better go running before it start raining but um I wanted to make a quick talk about how to keep motivating myself to stick with my workout plan number one make a goal this year's my big goal is running uh, 2016 miles a year my last year's goal was uh, running a thousand miles, which I ended up doing like, you know, 1400. No, I was a little bit shy, like 1380 or something like that miles. Yeah, I accomplished the goal. And by having that big goal, I was able to encourage myself to go out the door. Okay, you know, uh, if I run three miles today, four miles today, I'm going to be three miles, four miles closer to my big goal. Yay! So let's do it. And so I, 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 I encourage you to set a goal 
any goal is fine. Like if you want to lose five pounds by summer, or you want to start running, and maybe you want to do five k this summer. Anything excites you? <laughs> any big goal is gonna be good. So have a have a goal, and it will help you to motivate yourself. Number two, make it a habit. I no longer think about if I have to learn, if I have to go learn. I I learn five six days a week, and I lift twice a week. But I actually made it a habit. It's like brushing your teeth. <laughs> you don't think about oh should I should I brush my brush my teeth before I go to bed? No, probably you just you know brush your teeth no matter what before you go to bed. Just make that make it a habit, and it makes things much easier. Number three, think about the consequences, the price of not doing something. For example,、uh, I'm a learner, and I know the consequences of not learning for more than a week. Because、uh, I think a, a lot of learners will <laughs> agree with me, but if I don't learn for a certain amount of time, my cardiovascular Ability just goes down drastically. You know, you know what I'm saying. And I have to start everything all over again, and it sucks. I remember how hard it was for me to lose thirty pounds. I was on I was on a diet, and my body felt really heavy. And for, now, like ah,、uh, now running six miles is no big deal. But back then, with thirty pound weight around my waist. Running six miles was a chore, and I didn't like myself. I hated, you know, what I saw in the mirror, stuff like that. So for me, it's much easier to just go out and run six miles a day to maintain my weight instead of going back to that, you know, diet and counting the calories. And I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's a small tip for today, and. I better, I better do my push up and go running. So I talk to you later. Bye. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. I'm back from learning and I'm dead. I'm dead. It was a bad idea to learn after the leg day. Uh, actually, the second day after the leg day is the worst. I'm definitely, definitely going to take a nap after this. Uh.